Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Even though the haters are trying to block it from the subscribers subscribing, they said they don't want no viewers subscribing to this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're on our way to where we're supposed to be. Anyways, thank you for your support, everyone. I really appreciate it. Those of you that come here genuinely to support the platform. Um, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent your enemies are sending to you. I call back your energies. I, take, I call back your powers. May you take back your powers. I call back your energies. May you all take back your energies that the enemy has stolen from you. Okay? As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is fine. Let's go ahead and um, get into our tarot reading for today. I hope you all are doing well and staying blessed. There could be someone planning to take someone out, put an end to you. Maybe your resources, your stability, your life, your invest. Oh, yeah, your investment. Um, so whatever you are investing in, there is someone behind the scenes planning to take that away from you. They may be paying someone um, to dismantle your foundation. They don't want you out here being secure. There could be some type of business that was built on a faulty ground that is coming to an end, but someone is refusing to let go. They may be in some type of denial. There could be some type of justice or karma playing out in a group of people's lives. They're working very hard to keep some type of secret hidden, but it's not really hidden anymore. I think someone is just in denial that something is over. There's a business. It could be a spiritual business that was built on faulty ground. Uh, this is someone in a field that does not really care about what it is they're doing. They're really in the field for the money. Okay. And this is being brought to an end. Um, here we have someone that's trying to put an end. They're planning on causing some type of ending to either someone giving money to you to invest in your business, invest, invest in your skills, invest in your work so that you can manifest or uh, what is it that I'm trying to say? You can grow, you know, that abundance that you've been working really hard because I'm seeing you here in the Three of Pentacles. And then see, you also started here as a Page of Pentacles, went through a Three of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. That's a very big leap, and it means that you're someone that's doing a lot of work behind the scenes. You're investing in your time, yourself, your future. This is something that is built on sturdy ground, but there is someone out here trying to destroy this for you. They don't want you to be seen. They don't want you being committed. They want to temper with your energy, dismantle your commitment to your path. People may be doing things behind the scenes just to distract you. Do not get distracted uh, from whatever it is you are doing, whatever it is you're meant to be doing. The universe put you on your path for a reason. What it is, is a bunch of haters. Um, they are trying to cause you stagnations. You see this right here? They're trying to cause difficulties in your pathway. Something someone, uh, I don't know if this is some something they already did in the past, but what they typically do, these kind of people, is that they're monitoring people's lives. And I don't know if they're coming after the 144,000 members of that club. They're sitting back and watching someone maybe salty because they're not part of that club. Girl, how, girl sir, how you going here because you ain't part of the club? You ain't even one of us. Come on now. How you going here where you can't get in? You can't get in on my Chris Brown SHRT. Come on. Anyway, someone is from the outside looking in, hating on the clubs, folks. Okay. We can't help you, man. We can't help you, sir. Get your life together. Go here. Go do something with your life. Leave us alone. Anyways, um, this is something possibly they've been doing for a long time. Um, just watching you, monitoring your life. If you have a business, they're so into your business. They're not investing in your business, but just monitoring it so that when it's about to take up, they do something to trample, to trample your business down. This is something someone has been doing for a long time. And it's a group of people that have been collaborating to do this for a long time. Okay? There may be a maniac behind the scenes, someone that's very... um selfish and insecure someone that uh, does a lot of manipulation someone that's really someone that really just cares about money excuse me there's someone in like a field that only does it for money there is no genuine attachment to what it is they do someone may not even know what it is they're doing they just kind of pretend like they know what they're doing um they've been paying people out here with this page of pentacles out here someone has been paying a group 
um, to collaborate together in order to block your wish fulfillment, your abundance, your ears of pentacles, uh, you receiving what it is that's your, someone is trying to steal your destiny, someone's trying to take your destiny, but it's called destiny for a reason, as I always say here, someone does not want you having a ten of cups, ten of pentacles, they don't want you having any type of uh, balance or good karma playing on in your life, even though that's what you deserve, okay, um, but someone is going to be exposed Whoever this woman is trying to hold on to or man is trying to hold on to, they want to be exposed or they already have been exposed and they're losing some type of privilege they've always had. So I don't know if they've always had access to money, somebody's money due to their association with someone wealthy or someone of high honor, maybe someone of high honor help someone build a business, but the business was built on faulty ground or something of that nature. And now maybe he's pulling back. He don't want to invest in that anymore because he sees the truth, the truth nature of this person. And he's walking away from a group of people that are just very vain and financially motivated. And this is causing a tower for a group of people. While they're out here trying to cause you a tower, the universe is wreaking havoc in these people's life. There's some type of finance they were expecting to get, or maybe they were trying to hold on to something. It's been taken away from them. The universe is causing some type of havoc and there is some type of revelation going on in a community amongst a group of friends, could be a colleagues and things like that. But there is some type of revelation or humbling that's taking place that's going to enable someone in a community to take action and move on with their life. You may have someone coming towards you with some type of apology or some type of information about what it is that's been going on behind the scenes. They may tell you that people have been holding on to something that belongs to you. So maybe you were supposed to receive a check. You were supposed to receive a house since I see the three of pentacles out here. Uh, maybe you had some type of house that was left to you and someone has been trying to hold on to it. It's been taken from them and given to you. Maybe a, a business was left to you. There's something that is coming towards someone. Just stay vigilant. Do not sit around though waiting and you like oh my gosh it's gonna come tomorrow i'm not gonna do no 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 carry on with your life keep on investing in what it is you're working on and whenever that blessing makes it way makes its way to you it'll make its way to you so don't put your life on hold waiting for anything but just know that the universe has some type of ace of pentacles on the way for you it could be from a king of cups king of pentacles um maybe this is a king of swords in his king of pentacles energy has a lot of emotions for you so he's going to show up in a lot of different energies or you could have a few masculines as well they are interested in working with you in whatever way shape or form i don't know whether it's platonic romantic business i'm typically business by this so it may be for business <laughs> excuse me and for some of you it could be both and for some of you it could be love okay yeah i'm, I'm typically like a business minded person it's like <sighs> yeah sorry <laughs> Is that we'll worry about the love later? Can <laughs> we take care of business right now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm that way, but I'm typically business minded. I don't really worry about the fluff. I worry about the fluff later when the business is taken care of, then we can worry about the fluff. Um, but yeah, this has to do with uh, work with all these pentacles showing up the ace of pentacles, the page of pentacles, three of pentacles. This has something to do with work investments, your finances, your career, and things like that. You've had people maybe you didn't know, maybe there's something you weren't privy to, but there are people behind the scenes that have been trying to block you from achieving some type of pinnacle um, that you've been working towards. Yeah, absolutely, someone is coming towards you. They may even be, even be trying to pay someone to stop them from coming towards you, or they're paying a third party to block this person from bringing some type of information to you, uh, giving you what belongs to you, but everything will be balanced out in due time. Um, if you are aware of anyone that's been trying to cause you blockages and still means baby, don't worry. Don't don't you worry. There's gonna come a time when these people are gonna be reaching out to you trying to say, hello, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I was wondering. Is that, uh, you are wondering. I'm not wondering. I'm good. Block, delete. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, destiny is playing out. Don't worry. Everything, there's some type of truth that's out. Um, maybe um, people, maybe whoever it is, maybe they're in the court system. Or this is just someone that's in the upright. They choose to do things the right way. This could be like a PI, police officer, a chief, or someone. 
or there's someone that it chooses to do things the right way okay someone is planning to bring justice or bring violence in a situation good karma this is someone with integrity and things like that maybe the people around this person are not people of integrity don't act with integrity like morals they're more so financially motivated there's a man or woman in a community that's very like just void empty just very uh, uh i don't even know like just like an empty vessel just walking around like there's no human emotion someone is just like about money they don't care about people they don't care about, they don't value people's life they're very like insecure but they mask that in a lot of masculine energy and it's really like just eerie and i don't think this person knows how they come across and i can hear him saying i don't care how i come across that someone is just very like lost just just a brute just a, I don't, I don't even know what the word is. Like someone's very insecure, but just wicked at the same time. Very malicious, very spiteful. Someone may be hurting on the inside, but the way they take care of their pain is by masking it with a lot of wickedness. Okay, someone is like, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on that person. Let's leave them there. They'll figure out their problems when they want to. Um, but there may be some type of plot to end someone that's trying to do the right thing. So if you're someone in a situation, I don't know. If there's like a court case going on or there's about to be a court case going on or you're just someone of high honor there's some type of uh, plot to end you so that you don't balance something out so i would stay vigilant if i was you um because these people for some reason they're very much determined to block someone from having wish fulfillment in life they're determined to block you from investing in someone's work in someone's career you giving a contract to someone so they're going to keep doing something until they don't have the uh they don't have like that like they don't i don't know what to say how to even voice it like someone is going to keep doing something until they are forced to stop so whether it's them going to jail whether it's them getting in a car accident getting sick uh leaving this realm they don't care they said they're going to keep doing something until they are forced to stop because someone is just broken very hateful um, someone's very hateful at the end of the day because whoever I'm picking up on, like their energy is just so heavy, intense, just a lot of wickedness and maliciousness. This is someone that gets a thrill out of being wicked to other people. So even if they've been working with a group and the group has separated themselves from this person, they don't care. They say they're going to keep going until something forces them to stop. This is the kind of person, even like if they're sick. And they're actively dying in a bed, in a sick bed or death bed. If they could pick, pick up their phone and cause someone some type of heartache, they'll do it. Like someone is gone and it's so sad. To, it's really sad and depressing. The kind of energy that I'm picking up on, like someone is just, they're just gone, just hopeless. Like, I don't know what happened to this person. There could be something that happened to them in their childhood that kind of just altered their mind it ruined them for i guess for life but they're just not willing to go and do the work um you probably need to go and talk to someone not in your community because if your community has been enabling you to do something they probably aren't the people to talk to you may want to go talk to to like a professional professional like go find a psychiatrist a counselor or something you don't got to talk to people about it keep it to yourself um and do that for as long as you need to but i don't think this is someone that wants to do it there is somebody else in this scenario that's more than likely doing the work to get the help they need but whoever i'm picking up on this could be like a king of cups reverse or a queen, queen of wands reverse they don't care about you when someone is just very wicked just very wicked very shallow doesn't care about anybody this is someone that thinks they're better than everybody else even if they don't bring nothing to the to the table, whether that's intellect, whether that's finances, whatever, whether the, it doesn't matter if they bring anything to the table. Someone thinks they're better than everybody else, and that includes the people around them. Okay, even the people that they've been working with to end someone. Uh, it's a Queen of Wands. I split the deck. It went on a Queen of Wands. Um, even the people that's been working with this woman to make sure that something goes in her favor. Maybe they didn't know that this was someone disingenuous, someone faking the funk for a long time, pretending to be something they're not. Um, she does not give to S about you people. You are just the help. It's what I hear this woman saying. They're just helping me get what I want. I don't really give to S about that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, someone's been working really hard to persuade a man or a company, an organization to see her in some type of light. And I think she's been doing this for a long time and has been got it, getting away with it. 
but now she's not able to get away with it and if someone says that they're gonna go i would have been like she like i don't know what happened to this woman or this could be a man like someone is just done they've been like this their whole life this is what happens when society enables people to just be on like i don't i don't just entitled like especially for i'm sorry to say this but for the caucasians like you all members of your side i don't know why you all feel entitled to things in life you're not entitled to nothing in life but for some reason and it's not all of you because i've met some wonderful caucasians but a lot of you have this mindset where you just feel entitled to something. It's like there's some type of brain fog, a clog, or something that does not in allow you all to see things like you're supposed to. Like there's some type of mental fog. You don't see things clearly. You only care about yourself. How, you, how are you going to benefit for something? And then we do have black folks and color folks and people of the other races too. They have this mind, the same mindset. It, it, they only care about themselves. They'll be out here trying to destroy their own kind for another race, not knowing that in the end, you're kind of holding your own people back. Because every person that makes it in your race, that's your race making it as a whole. But people don't think that way. They jump on some type of bandwagon because a, uh, a Caucasian woman shows up in a neighborhood, gives them money and say, hey, I need you to help them block this person. Uh, because if they succeed, I fail. So I need you to block them. And they say, oh, well, I'm on it. I'm on it. Let me go ahead and help you take care of that. How much are we talking about? Oh, 50000 Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. That's nothing. I I'll help you stop this person. And they don't know, like... One, you're cursing your bloodline. Your children are going to feel it. Grandchildren. Um, who knows? The person you're blocking could have helped your race get out of some type of sticky situation that they're in. I, I don't know. I, I just don't. I don't get the mindset. The, the whole concept of destroying someone just so you can do well in life and you don't realize that you're not going to have what it is you're destroying someone for for a long time if you are able to get your hands on it i don't know why people don't even put two and two together because it's so easy if you got to do anything malicious to get it you ain't gonna keep it it's that simple you're not gonna keep it a lot of the times you're not gonna get it if you get it you're not keeping it you, the universe is gonna take it away from you i'm telling you in this situation you all ain't getting it the universe is taking actions right you all have been being watched they know exactly what it is you've been doing there's some type of a uh, tower that's about to take place people are going to find out if you all have been trying to hide someone they're about to be seen like the universe is the one that's going to make sure that this person is seen okay people are going to love their work people are going to respect their work people are going to want to work with this person so whatever it is you all have been doing behind the scenes and people have been doing this to a lot of content creators they're going to be seen. The universe is stepping in and making a bold statement like, I support this person. Okay? So keep on doing whatever it is you want to do. In the end, you're about to be out here more than likely with a court case, going to jail, losing everything. All of this could have been avoided, but, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not saying that stuff about the Caucasians. Like, I don't, like, out of spite. I'm just saying what I've observed. In my 32 years on this earth, it's like there's some some type of entitlement that you all have and it's just unhealthy. Like you just feel entitled to things and no one is entitled to anything. I don't I don't understand that mindset. It's it's very repulsive. It's absolutely repulsive. And there are black um Hispanic Asians that are all that way as well, and it's just as repulsive you're not entitled to anything in life and i don't know why there are people in communities that allow people to be that way and a lot of caucasians you act that way because the world has allowed you to be that way that does not mean that you are entitled to anything people have just allowed you all to be that way and there's a woman i'm picking up on that's caucasian and she has that mindset very entitled Feels like she's better than everybody else, even the people she work with that bring more to the table than she does. There's someone in a community that's just pretending to know things. She doesn't know it. Matter of fact, I can see a woman Googling stuff on, on, on her phone, her tablet, computer. Th th this woman Googles stuff, okay, and then comes to work and acts like she knows what she's talking about. And then you got people in that company 
that more than likely have been studying the topic that she's Googling for years and they know it by heart, they know it naturally, but they don't have to spotlight so they have to hush. And they gotta sit there and listen to her pretend like she knows what she's talking about. You gotta be BSing me. I'm telling you all the honest truth. This is the truth being illuminated to you all, okay? Um, There's a sister, white, black, Mexican, whatever. I really don't give two Fs which one you are. But it don't matter at the end of the day. But she don't know what she's doing. This is someone that copies other people's work. Takes on other people's personality so that she can get wish fulfillment in a situation. This is someone that's living under some type of false persona, okay? Her, whatever bounty she has, whatever fruits she has, finance, financial stability. I'm trying to find the word. Whatever luxurious lifestyle this woman has, whatever foundation, community that she has built was built on a, fault, a faulty foundation, false foundation. This is just like a group of people I'm picking up on as well with a lot of toxic ways. Overindulging everything. There's a group that's always partying and there's someone in that group or a few people in that group. You people are partying as a distraction they are distracting you so you don't see the truth of what is really going on around you you may want to put the bottle down you're about to lose <laughs> there's something that's about to be taken from you or and at this point there's nothing you can do to stop it something is being dismantled by the universe by god it's not by someone else that hates you all it's not by someone else that has been plotting against you all Everything that's playing out is playing out by order of the universe. This is how it's always been destined to happen. So all the actions this woman has been taking or a masculine has been taking to block other people's progress, to block other people's success, all of that was ordained and orchestrated by the Most High so that when it's time to dismantle his or her foundation, there ain't no coming back from that. People are going to see you for exactly who you are. You aren't able to hide it. Nothing. Okay. It's not something you're going to be able to show up to work the next day. Talking about, hi, uh, Karen, how are you doing? Karen's going to be bombastic side eye and you like, oh, so you really, you really think you're better than us? You're already out here thinking you're better than, than us because of our color and things like that. You really been out here faking the funk, making us believe that you know what you're doing. Girl, sir, you're about to go through it. Heartbreak Hotel for you. This is a woman that pretends, uh, she's been pretending her whole life in a community. Refuses to put in the work to better herself, learn the skills she needs to, to actually be a leader. And actually produce what it is she promised to produce. I don't know if someone's on a contract, whatever it is, baby. But this is someone that's been out here trying to destroy other people's work. There's some type of position she does not want someone to have, so she's trying to dismantle or destroy that person's life, their commitment, their loyalty, their character, everything. Like, someone don't want you being focused on what it is that you are doing. So, even if you're not in this position yet, she's trying to destroy you so that you don't even have the opportunity to get to where you're supposed to be. Someone is very, just, they're just very malicious and wicked. They don't care about people Someone does not have, like, I, I don't, you, like, you ever, I don't even know how to verbalize this woman's state of mind because it's just so, like, dark, like, ten of swords, eight of swords energy every day. All this woman does is wake up and try to figure out how she can destroy other people to make sure that she stays comfortable in life. Like, who do I got to take out today? Like, someone wakes up looking forward to destroying other people's lives. And she don't care if you got kids, if you're sick, your mom is sick, granddaddy is sick, grandpappy, and she don't care what's going on with you. As long as she has what it is that she wants, that's all she cares about. That's it. Everybody around her, I don't know, if she, even if she's married, she sees that man as like a cash cushion. I don't, this mindset that I'm picking up on is very pathetic and very demonic. It's like someone has some type of demonic entity attached to them. And she ain't stopping at nothing. He ain't stopping at nothing until he says or she says she's destroyed you to the point where you're not able to come back. And guess what? It ain't happening. Which fulfillment is yours? Something is being balanced out in your work. 
and you are going to have wish fulfillment. Okay, you may not even know that maybe someone is assisting you behind the scenes or maybe this is just your ancestors interceding on your behalf. Typically, justice, the justice card has to do with some type of human inter intervention. Like the Most High has touched someone to make sure that they take care of something or balance something out. So this is someone that's more than likely been doing things the right way their whole life and they're sticking to their morals, okay? Because people don't just show up in this energy by accident. This is someone that's been this way for a long time and they're taking action to balance something out, especially when it comes to your work so that you can have wish fulfillment because they're finding out that something is yours. It's not somebody else. So that's letting me know that someone out here has been pretending like something belongs to them. Like they took something from you and they've been pretending like it's theirs. But someone is balancing it out. I said, this don't belong to you. What the, the F are you talking about? It don't belong to you. And someone may be even pissed off at this uh, this woman or man that's just out here being wicked and vain and just malicious for no reason. They're probably looking at her like, what the F are you talking about? This don't belong to you. I don't think this man talks like this. But there's some type of anger he has with finding out that this person has been pretending the whole time he's been working with her. And I think that's what the anger is. It's like he's, he's starting to see the extent that this woman went through to make sure that someone does not get something that belongs to them. Someone is not seen. Someone is not heard. Basically, like someone just locking you up in a closet and leaving you there. No food, no nothing. You don't know when you're coming out of the closet. You don't know why you're in the closet. People are coming in and doing funny stuff. You don't know why people are coming after you. All kinds. They're just wicked. Like someone just wanted to dismantle your life and paint you in a way that is not even yours. Someone who have even hacked like email accounts pretending to be you and communicating with a masculine. If he was reaching out to you to give you an offer, she got into that email and was communicating with him. Someone knows like your verbiage. Like they know how you talk, how you carry yourself, things you would say, things you would not say, your standards and things like that. And maybe she didn't know that and that's what's giving her away. It's like, this don't sound like, let's say someone's pretending to be me for an example. Like if some, if it's someone that knows me, maybe off the bat, they'll know it's not me because there are certain things I say and things I just don't say. So people that really, really know me, which are very few, if you pretend to be me in an email or a text message, they'll know off the bat. That's not Cynthia. <laughs> that's not Cynthia. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. That's when they're going to pick up their phone and be like, are you doing okay? Is something going on we need to talk about? I'm like, what are you talking about? There's something like that is going on. Like someone has been pretending to be another energy. And they don't realize that whoever they've been trying to fool has picked up on them. Because whoever you are, you don't talk the way this person talks. You don't move the way that they, they, uh, they move. They don't understand you. I think someone has been trying to study you from afar to learn how you talk, what you would do in certain situations. This has come up in one of my readings before. Someone has been studying another energy to see how you move, how you talk, what you wear, how you, you know what you eat, what you don't eat, things you like, things you don't like, what do you read, what do you not read, blah, 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 so that she can know how to be you. But the sad thing is that she's done all of that and she still does not know you. You feel me? That's how the universe will do it. She still does not know you. And this is why, yeah, someone is not as intellectual as you. Someone's very, like, like the opposite of what a queen of swords is, is what this woman is. The opposite of a queen of cups, the opposite of a queen of wands. Everything in reverse is what this woman is. She's very beautiful, but everything else as far as substance, mental, intellect, not there. Okay? And I'm not saying that to be spiteful. This is just the energy that I picked up on. Someone is just vain. They don't care. Someone don't care to... You, you, you know like those kindergartners... You meet them and you just know they are an only child and they get everything they want. Uh, nobody has ever told them no. And then you, the poor little you teacher, you go and tell little Susie no. Little Susie throwing a temper tantrum because little Susie has never been told no. There's a grown person out here that does that. You tell them no and they go bum, ballistic. Like just lo lose it. They don't know how to handle that. Because they're used to people telling them yes. 
every time. But they've been told no now, and it's a problem. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting this deep of uh, like uh, information on this woman, but someone, someone is dangerous. I said I split the deck. I said dangerous split the deck and a lender on this. Someone is dangerous. She's like losing it behind the scenes, but pretending like she's okay. Like she's hiding her emotions. Someone is angry. Like angry. If if people are not careful around her, this woman could spaz out and hurt somebody. Like you all need to be careful, whoever this is. Someone is angry. Like they're pretending like they're okay. They're hiding their anger within. And all it has to do with is because someone is a different complexion. And she says she don't want to see them in some type of industry. Like someone has made you an enemy and you don't even know this person. That's the sad part. It, like I, I feel so sad. I feel sorry for people that hate other people solely because of their color. It's that like you never really even take the chance to get to know someone and you just dislike them because of color. Something that they can't control. And I don't even think if black folks, Asian folks, Mexican folks could control it, I don't think they would change a goddamn thing about themselves when it comes to their color. But you got to think about that. Someone hates another person simply because of their color. Not because you did something to them. Not because you stole from them. Not because you offended someone. Nothing. You don't know this person, but they know you. Someone has like invaded your life like a parasite. You know how hard parasites are to get rid of? Like if you don't have the medicine, you can do all the remedies you want. And those suckers are still going to be there leeching off of you. This, like, this person is a parasite. Like that's the mindset mindset that they have, and I hate to like uh, uh, explain her that way, but that's like that's what I'm getting like a parasite on society, a parasite like someone don't want to have to lift a finger to do anything, anything. I, I, I don't I don't like that kind of energy. Again, she's hiding her anger. Like someone is seething. Within, but you know what's gonna happen? That anger is about to be exposed. Like the universe is gonna let, it's gonna make it where she's gonna slip up, and someone's gonna see exactly what it is that's going on. They'll be like, "Oh, I thought you said you were cool with us doing this," and they're gonna see the truth. And that's when a man is gonna find out, or a community is gonna find out that, damn, she has really loved. This is really who she is. This is who she's always been. This could be a man as well. I'm telling you. There's a tower coming. And this woman won't be able to hide her emotions. Oh, baby. The tower is the truth being exposed about uh, who's the real. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's going to be some type of exposure. Some type of revelation about who the true queen of cups is. Who's actually the skilled person. Because someone out here has been pretending to be skilled. It's like someone stealing your work, your intellectual property, and then shutting you off, hiding you, so they can have the best opportunity to pretend to be you, making a lot of money off of your back. Meanwhile, you're probably somewhere struggling to make ends meet, got four dollars in your bank account like myself, and she's living comfortable, don't give two Fs how her actions are affecting you, and she still don't care. This is how broken... And selfish. Someone she still don't care, or he still don't care. This is not someone where it's like empathy resonates with them. There are certain people in life when they're doing something, you can get on a level with them. You can sit down, and talk to them, and you two come to a conclusion. Uh, you come to some type of reasoning, and you talk to them. You say, "Man, listen. All you had to do was reach out to me and talk to me, and we would have worked something out. You didn't have to do all of that. Why are you this way? Do you need some help? Do you need to talk to someone? And you know they may open up to you, but whoever I'm picking up on, no, 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 no. This this person wicked." Wicked. That's it. That's it. Like someone's family. I don't know if the family is the same as her or him, but they're about to find out what someone has been doing. The family could be just like them, but they're all about to go through some type of awakening by the source. 
about to be going through poverty while you're coming out of the core and start having some type of new beginning, wish fulfillment, healing the world, living content. You're going to have the opportunity to heal before you connect with a new soul trap with someone. Okay. Hmm. Someone is planning on defending you until the end. So maybe right now you're going through something where you're by yourself and people feel like they have to, you know, go ahead to do whatever it is they want to do because maybe you're by yourself. Um, they say, well, there's nobody with this this guy. There's nobody with this woman. It's him, it's her versus us. So, you know, they're just out here taking a whack at it. Everybody's taking turns. Sometimes they do it all at once and they get a sick thrill out of it. And they really think they're doing something. But there's someone out here that's about to be like loyal to you till the end. And I think someone may be even studying a situation and they know why you took some type of action or why you behave the way you do. You may not know that they're watching you, but someone is aware of why you are the way you are. And they said they're sticking by you till the end, like till you take your last breath from, uh, of the, from this uh, realm. So it's somebody behind the scenes that's working with you. You probably just don't know them. But just know it's a group, baby. They've, they've, they've made it their true, a full-time job. With this three of pentacles out here, these people took some type of oath to never tell the truth, to never disclose <clears throat> what it is they've been doing. There's something about bullying that's been going on for a long time, and they all made an oath. To never disclose that truth. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. They can take all the oath they want. But this investigation is going on as well. When they, when those investigators start telling them. Hey. <laughs> you're looking to serve 10 years in prison. That oath is going to go right out the door. So don't you worry. They can all talk about how they have an oath. You're making people sign papers and stuff like that. Talking about. I. Um. I will not disclose or I promise not to tell whatever, blah, 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 blah. First of all, you're stupid as heck because the, that thing you're signing is proof that, baby, I don't got time. People be really stupid out here. The very act of you having someone sign a paper to say that they're not going to tell the truth, that's evidence. <laughs> Someone's been out here burning evidence too. So if they had you all sign some type of paper that said you promise not to tell when uh it's when when you're being asked questions, if something ever comes out, you promise not to tell the truth or not to disclose what it is uh you agree upon. Oh, they're burning that. <laughs> so you really don't have a contract, right? There's really no contract because if they keep that, that's evidence against them and you all too. So, I, I don't know what the heck. Yeah, someone is out here burning something. Burning something. They're out here burning it. They're burning evidence. They don't want people to find out the truth. The law enforcement, there's some type of investigation that's going on. They don't want people to find out the truth. So, they're burning evidence. Okay? Hacking into systems and uh, deleting files and things like that. That someone's computer is nothing but evidence. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Someone's computer, laptop, uh, tablet, phone is nothing but evidence. Like just tr uh, tracks. Like, you know, uh, what do they call it? Like in the uh, computers? I, I forgot what the term terminology is. But there's some type of footprint, fingerprint, whatever you want to call it. You can't hide what it is you've been doing. You don't effed up too many times. At this point, like, they probably have your IP address, your home address. They probably know your first, middle, and last name. Like, you you don't effed up too many times, and that's because you got comfortable doing something for so long. You never thought you would get cut doing it. So you started doing something without pr protection, VPN. The VPN don't even matter because people can disable that. I had a vision the other day of someone disabling a VPN to get into a system. So obviously, if you can dismantle someone's or disable someone's VPN, you should know that yours can be disabled too. So, like, they know. I don't know, like, like it's the childish mindset for me. Like, why are you so gung-ho on 
trapping and controlling someone. There's a nutcase out here, a man that is about to be exposed. And he's so afraid of being exposed, but he keeps taking more drastic actions. It's just going to make sure that he's exposed. I don't... Listen, this energy here... There's something where they don't want you moving forward. They don't want you working. They're trying to cause illusions and stuff like that to you. But baby, you know the truth. You're being told to keep investing. Keep your mind focused on the price. Keep your mind on the price. Keep your eyes on the price. Because your ancestors are all over here. Baby, they're causing havoc. Nightmares. To a queen of pentacles. That's karmic and toxic as heck. Mad that she's losing something. Someone is walking away from her. Maybe this is the one this is the one that's been ahead of the karmic squad. Out here taking reckless actions and things like that, and it's backfiring on her. It's an emperor that sees a woman for exactly who she is. He's probably telling her, ah, all that manipulation you do over there, don't bring it over here. Like I know exactly what's going on. And she's still trying to man manipulate him. Everything that comes out of this woman's mouth is a lie. It's a lie. And then there's another Queen of Pentacles which I've been trying not to really touch on this woman. She participated in something, but I think something is haunting her conscience and hopefully she'll do what it is she's supposed to do to balance something out. Like, I don't know what is wrong with these people. Why would you get involved in something so stupid, so childish? Like, this is like some, just, like the mindset. And I don't know if sometimes uh, dark workers don't know how they look when they're doing something. Like, I'm going to get out of my bed. And I'm going to go to somebody's house to go stalk them. You ever, you ever sat down and just thought about the process of that? You're getting out of your warm bed to get in your car, which you paid for, hopefully. It don't matter. If source blessed you with it and you got it for free, thank the ancestors. Getting in your car, wasting your gas to go stalk someone. You're taking your phone time out of your day that you could be doing using to do something else to cause someone what and bully them do you ever think about how it looks at your age at your age how old are you all think about that it's someone in their 50s their 60s doing this y'all like i saw a man in his 50s i had a vision of a man in his 50s just being childish just a little boy Refusing to grow up. Don't want people to see him for who he is, but he keeps hiding it, but doing the same stupid thing over and over. What? what, what that's a special kind of sickness to have. That's a special kind of sickness to have. Is that being sick, but you're making yourself even more sick every day that you wake up because you're choosing to do the same stupid stuff every day. And you've been doing it for all, over 50 years. You've been doing it for over 40 years. You ain't tired yet. We're all stupid at some point in life. I used to be too. Dumbass can be just doing stupid stuff out here. It was nothing drastic like that. Bullying people and stuff like that. But we all have done stupid things in life. But guess what? The difference is some of us, we choose to mature the heck up. Grow up. But you want to tell me that you're in your 30s, in your 40s, your 50s, 60s, uh, you're comfortable with being immature. You're comfortable with taking actions to cause hindrances to other people, believing that you're not going to receive any consequences. You got to be BSing yourself and you know it. You're bullshitting yourself. Excuse my French. From time to time, I'm going to go ahead and say the French on here. Speak the French on here. You're bullshitting yourself. Get over yourself. You cannot be that old and be thinking that you can just come out here and take any type of reckless action you want. And because you have a group of people that are in a collaboration with you, you have a, a, a institution that's backing you up that they're just gonna that you're just gonna get away with it. You're just gonna keep, you know, destroying people's lives, blocking people's finances. Tearing relationships apart, blocking connections and things like that. And you're just going to keep going to bed every night, sleeping good on your nice, soft, warm bed. Comfortable pillow. Really? You got one coming for you. And it's coming quick. It's coming quick. Oh. Someone's about to get locked up. They won't let you out. No. You're about to be locked up. 
Could be an Empress energy that's been working over time to destroy another woman. The false Empress trying to destroy a true Empress. Girl, you got problems coming in too. It's the end. It's the end for you. You better be out here looking real alone. I don't know what this, this is. I don't know if you're going to a breakup or something, but you're about to be out here looking real, real rejected. Just like you try to have someone rejected. You've been working real hard behind the scenes, haven't you? I don't know if it's you and your daughter that's been team working, tag teaming someone else, trying to destroy their life, trying to say they did something to you that they didn't do nothing to you. I don't even know how they just came out. I need to go eat and drink some water, people. I got to go eat and drink some water. I've been working all day. Working all day. It's people, it's people effing with me behind the scenes, taking food out of my mouth and my baby's mouth. So, you know, it is what it is. I rely on my ancestors and the universe to balance stuff out for me. So I'm not going to come out here and take any type of reckless actions against people. It's going to be balanced out when it's supposed to be balanced out. But, you know, I got to go get some water and some uh, food and put in my system so I can stay focused. Because y'all know my brain is about this size and my attention span is even shorter. <laughs> yeah, there's people trying to tear me down behind the scenes. But, baby, come on now. Yeah, I see me. Powerhouse. Jesus, break. <laughs> House. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, let's get back to these people. Yeah, this community, they went from, they're celebrating, they were celebrating something now. They said, oh, we got them, we got them. Do you got them? Do you got them? Do you got them? Or did you trap yourself? Because you know, this is one of those situations where it's like the pride before the fall. It's the last celebration before the uh, uh, the wrath of God takes hold. Uh, takes effect. You know how uh, uh, those people were celebrating, living their best life. You know, eating, drinking, being merry, and stuff like that. And Noah was telling them what the flood is coming. The, listen, I said the flood is coming. What is this? <laughs> I split the deck. Listen, Miss Empress, whoever you are, the flood is coming. The flood is coming. Anyways, um, yeah, he was telling them, hey, the flood is coming. You need to get to safety. You need to build your boats. Change your ways. And what were they doing? They were they were busy what partying like these people out here. It's a community still partying, still celebrating. Okay, and Noah was telling them maybe they had their last party. <laughs> they had their last party, <laughs> and then it's. Whoosh, whoosh. Everything out. Source said, let's, let's, we're going to start over. Okay. We're going to start over. It's the end of one age. A new age must begin. Okay. And that's typical. The earth always, at the end of an age, the earth goes through some type of rebirth. People say, oh, it's biblical. It's all the signs from the Bible. It's the Bible. The earth is set up that way, folks. <laughs> At the end of every age, there will be some type of reckoning going on. There will be floods, all types of natural disasters taking place. Okay? Think about Atlantis. Atlantis was destroyed many times over. Okay? It wasn't just destroyed once. It didn't just flood once. That was a... Uh, city that was read on by the universe many many times um okay so yeah whatever good news you're getting collective it got these people in their emotions their emotions they don't want things being uh, listen this kind of wickedness like this kind of hatefulness this I, I don't i can't i can't like it's one thing to do something and you don't know what it is you're doing so you don't understand the consequences the ramifications of what it is you're doing but when you wholeheartedly understand with that three of swords out here when you wholeheartedly understand what it is you're doing to someone and how it is affecting them and you are intent on getting some type of reaction out of them like they want you to be hurt 
they want you to be like disappointed. They want you crying. Like they want you out here in distress. It's intentional. That kind of wickedness, I, I can't like even verbalize like my disconnect from it. I can't. That's that's a special kind of low low down bottomless. I, I don't I can bottom of the barrel kind of activity. And it's only bottom of the barrel because of the things you all are doing. Because nobody is better than anybody else in life. This kind of energy, I can't. I gotta disconnect myself from it. And this is why I don't got a lot of friends. Because I'm listening. I'm oh. If you got one time <laughs> to rub me the wrong way. <laughs> one time to rub me the wrong way. Hasta la vista. Adios. Salud. Uh-uh. <laughs> because at a certain age, people know exactly what it is they're doing, what they're saying, how they're saying it, and I don't got time to be correcting grown folks. But this, whatever this is, it was intentional. These people did it because they have a special kind of hate for you. Someone, there's something where these people are also trying to be edgy. I hear someone saying, live a little, be edgy a little, get out of your comfort zone. Be, let's be risky, something like that. We're going to, we'll be okay. I have connections. I don't know who's telling people they got connections. Maybe those connections ain't going to be connecting when the time comes. You got problems. And what I'm picking up on is like it's a sector of different communities that came together for some of you. And for some of you, it's a group of friends within a community, a group of friends with it's the same three people up here and the same three people down here. It's a group of friends, karmic friends that got together to hinder someone. To destroy someone. Just wickedness for no reason. Hate for no reason. And there's something where I'm also hearing is that they're hiring people to do a job. I don't know if they're looking for an expert to destroy someone. They're, they hire an expert. That expert doesn't work out. They fire them and hire a new expert. That one doesn't work out. They fire them, hire. It's been a long cycle of finding experts. And I don't know what it is they're trying to find an expert for. It may have something to do with technology, uh, you know, uh, breaking into systems and shutting stuff off so that someone cannot use their either computer or laptop or something like that anymore. Uh, but there, there's something where it's like they're hiring people to find to, to they're hiring people to get the job done. So if you're if you were recently hired to do some type of malicious work, you ain't the first one on that job. It's been numerous other people on that job. It's been numerous other people on that job. And which is so sad. Oh, you are plans. It ain't coming into fruition. You are about to be heartbroken. You're planning on ending someone through or sourcing someone. You're planning on blocking some type of communications. You've been doing that for a long time. It don't matter how many times you block that communication. What's meant for someone, they're going to receive. What you build on your faulty foundation, dishonest and dark and deceitful foundation, it's crumbling down. There's nothing you can do to stop that. You can keep pretending. You can keep uh, keeping these people in some type of uh, matrix. They're, they're in the matrix because they want to be in the matrix. At this point, they're in this matrix of yours because they want to be in there. There are people around you that know the truth or their intuitions are telling them, hey, something ain't adding up. It's time to go. But it's choosing to stay. Something is over. You see how it's going from the ten of who? It's going from the ten of cups to the five of pentacles to the three of swords. It's over. You, it is some type of pain you are about to go through. When you're going through it, whoever the leader of the squad has been, everybody's gonna hate you. They're not gonna want to talk to you. May put you out of a community. God forbid you think you're going to be in that community when that other person steps in there that you've been trying to destroy it in for the work. You're going to have to be out of that community before they come around. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. 
you may have around get yourself catch yourself a black eye or something because some folks listen some folks can only be pure for so long you see how it went from two of page of cups to three of swords maybe they'll they'll who don't be in that community if that person comes around that's all i'm gonna tell you don't 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 be there don't be there it's not gonna work yeah, i don't care what kind of apology you do how sorry you are what kind of expensive gift you buy these kind of people don't care about gifts don't be around do not be around okay do not do not be around you and your partner in crime i don't know if this is a couple that's been out here whatever you all have been doing it's the end of the road it's the end of the road but whoever you you are don't be in that community when that earth angel man or woman comes in that community because we speak about forgiveness they forgive you but it's gonna be after some some take place girl just sir don't be there don't be there do not be there that's all i'm gonna tell you do not be around you best start finding yourself a new job or something before that man comes around or that woman comes around because if you are still there it's gonna be problems in that community every day until one of you get put out of the community girl just go ahead and go find you something else to do sir go ahead and find you something else to do because it ain't gonna work out with, with the both of you there at all oh yeah it's, something is being looked into it's gonna be balanced out that's all i have to say um yeah there's something where it's like they're planning to they're trying to put your work to rest trying to they're, they're planning to put you to rest but you're gonna have wish fulfillment it, it's like the whole thing has to do with just shutting you up shutting you down it's like your computer system or something they want you out just shut her down shut him down we don't want them to be found and that's exactly what the universe is about to allow is for that person to be found to be seen it's a oh maria that's where you've been this whole time girl we've been looking for you trying to talk to you look at you doing your thing out here yep that's what's about to happen for somebody out here dang and I'm saying, dang, because it's like a whole group of people just got together and manifested nothing but heartache, heartache for themselves. Pain, poverty. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. Got together and manifested nothing but tragedy for themselves. Hmm. I can't get jiggy with this. Getting jiggy with it. Ba -da -da -da. Getting jiggy with it. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, they've been out here getting jiggy with it. You, you know that feminist lying in parents' trap? I'll take a whack at it. Yeah, there's been people out here just taking a whack at it. Just taking a whack at it. Anyways, folks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for you all for what's coming. It's like a whole bunch of people are about to lose their jobs. A whole bunch of people are about to be out here impoverished. There's nothing you all can do to even prep yourselves for what's coming. Like what's coming is a reckoning. And whoever this person of honor is, they don't feel no ways about it. Because I think someone is just tired. But be careful, sir or ma'am. They're plotting on you. They're trying to figure out how they can stop you from taking the actions you want to stop they are hiring more people these are people that just refuse to use their brain cells i don't know the cells don't work like they're supposed to the neurons ain't traveling freely like they're supposed to there's some type of blockage or just some type of membrane like ratchet or something and something is going into some type of space uh, some type of cell wall. I don't know. Something rapture and there's something in, in these people brain cells that should not be there because they're still feeling to put two and two together. They still think they're going to have success uh, with this, whatever this is. They still think it's going to go in their favor. And that's because there's a nutcase that's telling them to keep going. And it's the person right in front of you, sir. The one that's playing innocent. One that's playing, yeah, the one that's playing innocent, you know, 
the fairy like one <laughs> yeah that one that's the one that's the head of the squad the one that's acting like she's not bothered or he's not bothered by something being balanced out oh they're bothered 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 bother is an, it's even an understatement someone is is on the verge of passing out okay Fast progress forward. The universe is balancing something out. I told you. Uh, it said fast progress. Move forward with swift precision and do what must be done now. Charge forward. So maybe this is a message for someone in here. This could be you, sir. There's been told to whatever it is you're trying to do, wanting to do. You're being advised to go ahead and do that. And if someone is holding like some type of grudge in their heart, they're telling you to ease their resentment because that's blocking your heart. Okay? And we are here holding on to grudges now. If you got to punch one or two people, go ahead and punch one or two people and then forget. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let it go. Let it go. <clears throat> Let it go. Let it go. Don't be resentful. Forgive people. And tell them to forgive themselves. Okay, we have eight, the number of abund abundance, infinite blessings from the Most High. This is blessings that comes directly. It's like, can nobody take this from you? This is destiny, okay? This is like your destiny kind of abundance. It said your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self sufficient. Who? I better did that. Someone don't want me to get that out. Chill. Maybe it's me. I should go eat and drink some water. Water, Cynthia. Water. I'm coming. I'm coming, ancestors. I'm coming. Okay, let's let's try this again, folks. Let's try this again. Okay, eight. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions by representing the ebb and flow. The infinite loop of creation. I am successful. Oh, we're claiming that one. Sir, I don't care if you claim it. I'm going to claim it. I'm going to claim it for you. Since you don't want to claim it, I'm going to claim it, okay? We are successful. I am successful. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for supporting this channel. We're getting to where we're supposed to be slowly, but surely we should be. We should have been a little bit more ahead, but you know, there's people out here tempering with the platform. People hating and stuff. It is what it is. We're still going to get on here every day and give our messages like we're supposed to. Because the universe says so. Okay. Yeah, honest echoes. Because the universe says so, 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 so. so. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Anyways, we got 555. Five, five. It's a major shift is about to come into lower life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic. Hallelujah. 12 3 celebration, union coming together, soul tribe number, all of that. Okay. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that authors can benefit from. I am a visionary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I am envisioning myself, putting that food in my mouth. I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching and supporting. As always, stay blessed and goodbye for now.